Hey guys, welcome back or thanks for stopping by. If you haven't been here yet, this is uh, Blue Line Gaming. This is the start of a brand new series. We are in Navas Gain, if you say that right. I don't know how to say it. And we are in Horde Every Night. You see, I'm starting a little late because I had to add the items. If you didn't watch my last episode, it is a showing you how I chose the random items. Basically, I have a list of 150 items and I chose five items from that list using random.org and those items were iron arrows, forged steel, crossbow bolts, I chose steel, uh, SMG, and the other one was supposed to be cornmeal but I could not find cornmeal so I just took cornbread for sake of time because like I said I'm in horde every night I need to get moving. Let's go and search this stuff real quick. So initially the SMG is gonna be really nice and the one thing I didn't grab was nine millimeter ammo. I'm gonna grab some of that real quick. All right, like I said in my past video, I mean, if you get a gun, give yourself some ammo. So this is kind of one of the perks of having a draw like this. I have a pig right in front of me that I can go ahead and take out like that. Now, I don't have anything to cut them up with, so we're gonna go and do these quests real quick, like I should have been doing already. Now, I am going to adjust my list a little bit from that, that random list. I, I forgot to put a junk turret in there and stuff like that. I mean, I'm going to take some things out. Like, I'll take the cornmeal out. I mean, I messed that one up, apparently. Let's go ahead and gather some wood real quick. All right, I'm going to cancel these things out just so I can get my bedroll going. I'm going to go ahead and drop them. we got to place the bedroll. Pick it up. Looks like I did spawn in the forest, which that is awesome. I am a huge fan of the forest. There we go. Stone axe. Let's get that crafting. All right. Now, hopefully this pig is still over here. Too bad I couldn't have spawned him with a knife, too. All right. We got that. There's another car down here. We're going to go and check that out real quick. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and get some more plant fire. All right, we got a pipe bomb schematic. We will definitely take that. Let's go and bring the club down here. Craft 11 arrows. We already have... Some iron arrows. I'd kind of like to save those till I have maybe a better bow. But, uh, yeah. Let's go and craft some more wood frame blocks just to have them. They're always good to have. Oh, I'm out of wood. Let's grab some more wood real quick. Alright, another quest knocked out. I'm not really worried about it. Let's see what we got in this trash. Got some coin and some cloth. We'll definitely take that. Let's see if we got enough rock to build a campfire. Looks like we do. Whoops. I'd like to go and put my campfire in here. I know there's going to be some zombies in here, but oh well. All right, we got our skills. Let's go and use these skills real quick. Since I have a bunch of arrows, I'm going to go into archery. I usually don't do that this early, but let's go and do archery. And let's go Pack Mule, Sexual Tyrannosaurus, and Minor 69er. Those are always good ones to start off with on Horde every night. Get ourselves into here. All right, here they come. Not sure how many we have here. Let's go ahead and do the frame trick. There's only one. Sound like there's more waking up, that's why I put the frame down, but that's all right. They just realized we unlocked the traitor. Let's go ahead and see how far away he is. Eh, not terrible. That's definitely definitely doable. Probably gonna end up holding this house down tonight just because we don't have any other options, but that is okay. 
Let's go and get some bandages crafting. Let's see me I can make I can make nine. I'm gonna make five for now. Right, if you ever watch my playthroughs, I need lots of bandages. All right, we have a puffer coat. Um, only does cold and heat resist. It doesn't really, I don't think it gives you any armor. Let's go and wear it for now. If I start overheating, then of course we'll get rid of it. Sleep somewhere else. Cooking pot, we need that. That's good early game. Some more iron. I need to scrap these cans. Gives you iron early. That's good. Sewing kit, that's good. Let's go ahead and scrap these chairs so we can clear out some inventory here. Wood and money, we'll take that. Let's see what we got upstairs. Bet there's somebody in here. Wow, okay. We got another room over here. Let's check that out. Some 762 ammo. That'll be nice. More bandages. I am now encumbered by one. There's some murky water. I'm not really worried about the yucca seed right now. Gunpowder, I'm not really worried about either. Lock picks, we'll definitely take that. Okay, I don't know if there is main loot in this house per se. All right, I'm getting very encumbered. All right, we'll wear these boots, take the money. Let's go and see if I can clean up my inventory real quick. I'm gonna drop these bullet casings and let's go ahead and eat the food. All right, I think we're done here. I think I have enough time to move on, see what, we, see what we have. We can maybe go a little closer to the trader, see if there's a POI there we can hold down. Let's get on top of this hill and let's look around, see what we got going on around us. All right, we got some POIs down there and the trader is that direction. So we kind of have, I wouldn't mind going looking at that and see what that is, but I'd like to see if there's a POI closer to the trader it's kind of a chance let's just walk down there a little ways okay looks like we are let me get into the burnt forest i am not seeing anything there is okay there is a house a little further down right there but it looks pretty dilapidated i tell you what let's go to this other building it looks like we can hold it down for the night we won't make anything permanent. We'll probably go venture to the trader tomorrow anyway. I'm not really worried about any of that stuff. All right, we have this POI. What did I see from at top the rooftop? I saw, a, I thought a red building. I could have swore. Oh, here we go. We got a nice little lake here, and there's a... Looks like some docks on the other side. All right, well, we have a couple POIs here we can raid. There's a zombie down there. Let's go ahead and take care of them. One thing I haven't made is a spear yet. Let's go ahead and make a spear. All right. More coin, we'll take that. This wouldn't be a bad thing to hold down for the night because you only get about five or six zombies the first night. So this is definitely something we can hold down for the night. Like I said, I wouldn't mind checking out this other building. Let's go check this one out real quick. It's a little bigger. Like I said, I can stand on the roof. I kind of like this one better. Let's go and raid it. If we have time, we'll go to the other one. Go and check this shed out real quick. I already got some zombies stirring up. Sometimes the main loot is in this garage, uh, depending on. Let's go ahead and check it out. 
All right, now they're really waking up. Not sure where exactly where he is. Not. All right, I'm setting myself up for some major failure here. Getting trapped in here. There he is. All right, there's one down. I'm not going to worry about harvesting this stuff yet. I really should, but I just don't have the room right now. I need to lay down storage somewhere to really do that. I already searched that. All right, it's unlocked. That's the best way to go. I'm not sneaking just for the sake of time. I'd like to get these places raided as fast as I can. I know that's a good way to die, but oh well. Shotgun shells. I'm not really worried about the brass right now. Give me that back, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. I do like this spear more and more. All right, I'm at roll. Hi, buddy. Is he a crawler? Yeah, we got a crawler. Two crawlers. Headshot. What if there's a way to do an all crawler playthrough? That'd be kind of, be kind of interesting. Be easy, but welcome somebody else. So, uh, another crawler. All right, this is the all crawler playthrough apparently. That'll work. All right, we have a flashlight. I'm not big on using flashlights, but we'll keep it around. Maybe we'll use it tonight. Uh, okay, here we go. Where are you at? I know you're up here. Over here in the... Oh, hello. Here. Go and sneak so we can get the extra damage. Right in the crotch. Woo! I thought that was going to do it right there. Whoa! He was swinging on me, too. Oh, that was close. A little too close for comfort there. Let's see the Figured there would be another. He's a construction worker, too. Ah, oh, I missed. Alright, let's draw him over here. I probably should put a frame down, but oh well. Let's see if I can craft some more arrows real quick. I think he's in here, I think. Yeah, there he is. Oh, another crawler. Oh, he's still going. Oh, oh boy, don't get killed by a crawler. Backing myself in that corner was not a good idea. Uh, kind of a done move. All right, main loot. We got a shotgun messiah crate. Let's go and hack into that. Perfect. Iron spear. All right, we'll go and bring that down. All right, we have a oh, wood splitter mod. We'll take that, put it in storage. We'll okay. I have okay. We had to get up here to get into this. Iron helmet. Let's go ahead and wear that. Uh, steel armor parts. We'll take those. Uh, nuggets. We'll take those. And leather boots. I don't remember what. We're wearing cowboy boots. Let's go ahead and scrap the cowboy boots. Wear the leather boots. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and get a door down here, and then we need to start getting ready for the horde. I'm not going to do a whole lot because I don't know how long I'm going to stay here. Where is that another? Cr oh, it's the nurse. I couldn't see her. Oh, she's a runner now, and I missed. Okay. I didn't mean to go to the SMG that early, but and 
I am terrible about losing spears. If you guys watch my other playthroughs, I lose them like crazy. They're so freaking hard to... F oh, is that it right there? They're so hard to see. Okay. I'm going to go lay down some storage real quick so I'm not as encumbered. And we're going to hack down some trees real quick. I wonder if I can repair this door. Okay, we can. Perfect. They'll probably come in another way like they normally do, but oh well. Trying to make some torches. Okay, like I said, we don't have a whole lot of time. I need to go gather some wood real quick. Got a jar of honey out of that. Alright, and what can we get from this table? Get some Let's go ahead and get some wood frame blocks going. I'm gonna go and get 20 just in case. I kind of have an idea for the roof. I'm gonna make some spikes too. We'll put the spikes out here. I don't know if it's the best idea. I don't know exactly where we're gonna go to attack, but let's get inside. And I will go ahead and knock out these stairs just in case. Also, here in a minute, I wanted to get out on the, the roof here. Perfect. Okay. So this is just a little idea. I, I haven't put a lot of thought into this, so I don't know if it's really a great idea or not. But I'm going to just kind of build a little bridge across these. So I can come over here, and if they're going for the front door, I can rain down some arrows on them. Just kind of what I'm thinking. Just kind of stay up on the roof tonight. I don't... I like building better defenses of this, but we're just kind of lack of time. I'm going to grab some more stone real quick, if I can find any. There's some iron. So all this is iron right here. Looks like it. Alright, I hear somebody walking up on me. Another jar of honey. Alright. Alright, let's get these arrows crafting real quick. Alright, so let's go and lay down these spikes real quick. I don't know exactly where they're going to attack. If I had more time, I could probably think. But let's go ahead and just put them just right out here pretty much. I mean, I only have five. Let's go ahead and shut that door. We also have this door. And then let's say they do come this way. I don't know that they will. Let's go and knock out these stairs. I'll knock out the rest in a minute. Like I said, this is kind of my idea. I don't know that it's going to work because if they're... If I'm over here, they might start beating on the garage. But so what I might do is try to, I'm going to look around for some feathers just real quick. I know it's getting late. I don't like being out, but I'm going to see if they're finding any bird's nest real quick. And you watch, they'll find some way to get up on the roof and then they'll come in this way. That'll be my luck. I probably should put a door here, but um, just in case they do decide to do that, let's go ahead and build this door up a bit. Um, I don't have a door here, but I can put some frames down here at least, and I got the SMG. All right, hopefully I don't have a typical blue line moment and fall off this roof. And the one thing I did forget to do was to knock out the rest of those stairs, but oh well. They're going to have to really jump to get up to me. All right, here we go. I did forget to knock out the rest of the stairs. I knocked out one block, but like I said, the horde shouldn't be too bad tonight. If there is a horde. I said, I've had some nights where I've had six, six show up and none show up. It always seems to be where your seems to be where your game state is, and I guess I haven't progressed my game state very far. So this might be a pretty easy night. You know, this might not be a terrible, really horrid base. I know it's just a house, but the trader is just over that hill. I mean, just over that hill. I have a water source right here. Uh, yeah, this may not be... I mean, I could build this shed up. I could replace everything with flagstone and then upgrade to you know, cobblestone. Or just, I'm sorry, upgrade everything to cobblestone. i got to find some cobblestone rocks first, but that's not a big idea. Or that's not a big problem, but I could upgrade this shed. 
this would be a pretty easy place to defend. And if they take the shed down, I can jump across. This may not be a bad horde base, really. I guess we'll go ahead and do some cooking since the zombies don't want to join me. Well, guys, I'm cooking up some murky water. I am going to work on this house a little bit, just get it cleaned up a little bit. There's not a whole lot I want to do on the outside just in case zombies do show up. I don't want to end, this, end the series that fast. I don't have a lot of resources to do much with. I only have a little bit of wood, a little bit of stone, so I really don't have a whole lot to do with. I do have this forged steel, but I just don't really... I can make a drawer and a steel ladder, so I really don't want to use that. I mean, you need a workbench. I mean, look at all these. You need so many recipes, and you need to unlock all this stuff. So there's really nothing I can do with the forged steel yet, but we'll definitely hold on to it. And I'm going to go and end the episode here, guys. If they do show up, I will go ahead and include that in the episode or next episode, one of the two. It shouldn't be that much. Guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know we're starting out. This is the last series ended pretty, pretty early. I'm hoping this one lasts a little longer. Let me know what you think about my different take on it, the kind of Survivor Man style, the random item style, whatever you want to call it. I'm still thinking of a name for this series. So if you have a good name for the series, let me know also. Hang on. See something there? Yeah, no. If you guys think of a good name for the series, let me know. And guys, see you guys later. Bye.